questions you should ask a probate attorney before hiring them. That's our subject today, and we're getting started right after this. And be sure to stay till the end, I've got a bonus question. Hey everybody, I'm Kess Stadler, the Associate Broker with Atlanta Communities and a Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist. My team and I have been working for 25 years helping uh, beneficiaries, executors, trustees with their probate needs and we can help you and give you some information on this video. Today we're talking about some of the questions and some of the concerns you may have before you hire or even start talking to real estate attorneys for your probate needs. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in with our first item. Here are some of the questions you need to ask to see if the attorney or the firm really has a grasp on how to help you with your probate needs. First question would be, are there enough assets to cover all the debts and taxes in regards to the estate and how would the attorney help you handle that? Okay, another question is, are there disputes between the beneficiaries? What does the attorney, what does the lawyer have in mind to help you through that process? Ask them, can the estate be settled without going to probate? That'll give you a pretty good idea. If they tell you it's, a, it's always an option, then that may mean they're looking out for your best interest. If they tell you point blank, you have to have an attorney to do probate, then that's a big red flag because that's not necessarily the case. So you can find out right away how sincere they are in really helping you or if they're just after uh, billable hours or a flat fee just to go ahead and get you on as a customer. And I should say a client. Ask them how do they handle the estate, whether it's small or large. Because in many cases, a very small estate doesn't really require an attorney uh, at all. And so if they're honest with you, that tells you they probably have your best interest. A question you can ask yourself before you even talk to the attorney is, is there real property involved? In many cases, if there's not real property, you can handle this on your own. There are DIY forms and DIY sites out there where you can almost do it yourself. Just be careful. If there's no real property involved, that's a possibility. If there's a home, town, home, condo, beach house, mansion, uh, I don't know, in downtown Atlanta, then you probably need a, a probate attorney. So just kind of keep that in mind. Ask the attorney how do they handle the estate if there are complicated tax implications. Do they have a CPA? Can you give you advice and guidance on how to handle the taxes? Not only locally, like here in Georgia, we help our clients with Georgia state taxes, but also depending upon the assets, federal taxes. See if that attorney, if that firm has the ability and understands how that works and can help you with that. Okay, next question to ask an attorney before you hire them might be, what does a probate attorney, what do you do for me? What are the services that you offer? They should answer with the following items that they handle and they really take care of their clients with. Transferring all the benefits to the right beneficiaries. I know that sounds redundant, but transferring the assets on your behalf after everything has been settled, do they handle that? Another one is, do they pay outstanding debts? Do they help you make sure that gets paid? Is that part of their uh, process when they work for you? Ask them if they help you collect proceeds from life insurance policies. A lot of people don't think about that. They might think about checking, savings account, but life insurance. Does the attorney have a plan? Can they help you collect the proceeds from a life insurance policy or multiple policies? Ask them if they can help you resolve tax issues. Last thing you want to do is settle an estate and then find out you've got tax problems long after the fact. A good attorney will be able to advise you on the right way to handle that and also if a CPA is needed. And one more thing definitely to ask a probate attorney early on is how involved are they in preparing and helping you file all the necessary documents? Do they do it themselves? Do they have a legal team? Do they have a parapro? How do they handle it? Ask the attorney, it doesn't hurt. Remember, like I tell my agents that work for me, you're interviewing the seller or the buyer just as much as they're interviewing you. So the same holds true here. The attorney is interviewing you, but you're interviewing them to see if you really want them to handle the, the estate for you, if they're a good probate attorney. So just remember that, it's a two-way street. Okay, another good question to ask them is, how much does a probate attorney cost? and then specifically ask them what are their fees. 
we all know, and it should be, and it's true, the attorney's fees usually correlate to how much experience they have. A newer attorney without all the experience and all the plaques and names behind them may not be able to charge as much. So get an idea of a rough ballpark of what they charge. And just so you know, with most attorneys, there are three ways they schedule their fee structure. One is just a flat fee depending upon the estate uh, and the probate itself is a flat fee. They can charge an hourly fee or they can charge a retainer and then you got to be careful there because it can get pretty expensive pretty quick. So it's better off to have an overall idea of what their fees are going to be up front while you're interviewing them before you hire them. In some rare cases, an attorney will charge a percentage of the estate. So it, depending upon the estate amount, if it works out to be about the same, whether the estate is a percentage or you pay them up front or the flat fee, you need to run the numbers there because they may be able to get you with something like that. So just ask them how they handle it. Attorneys are great. They're there for a reason. They help us and just negotiate the fees with them. Okay, another thing to ask the attorney and their firm is how do they handle testate or intestate probate? Okay, the reason I bring that up is some attorneys don't want to take the time to really spell everything out for you. Others will take as much time as you need. So if they're willing to give you all these details, that usually tells you and me that they're interested in making sure they do a good job for you and that you're happy and everything is done by the book. So just a little background on the difference in what the two uh, probates are is basically a test date is when there is a will and everything stipulated, everything spelled out, or most everything, then it's much easier and in many cases it can be cheaper for you and for the estate if the will was filed in, in a test date. Okay, if the person, your loved one, the decedent, died without a will, then it is held in intestate, and so probate is more than likely needed because there's no will, there's no way for the beneficiaries or the executor to really know that loved one's um, final wishes, so that's when an attorney will have to be really involved. So just ask them, have them explain the difference, have them look over your specific situation and see what works best for you. Okay, and one of the final questions as you're interviewing attorneys is um, how long does a, a probate take? How long is it going to last? And see what they answer. See how they come back to you. That'll give you an idea of their level of experience. Okay, and what the attorney should tell you is there's a lot of factors and they can't give you a guarantee on how quickly it will transpire. If they tell you they can get it done in 30 days guaranteed, you better run. It can take six, nine months, even a year. It can take decades if you're fighting over the Rockefeller's estate. So it just depends. So if their answer is what I just told you and it depends on the size of the estate, then that means they're being honest and upfront with you. Another thing they should mention to you is the number of beneficiaries. If it's just two, that's very simple. If it's a large family, if it's a large estate, if they uh, decided to name a lot of beneficiaries, then it's going to take longer to get it all the way through the system. So they should be able to tell you that it depends on the number of beneficiaries. They should explain to you if there are issues with the will and the estate, then that's going to tie it up and that's going to take longer too. So should, they should be willing to and be able to tell you that it will depend on uh, if there are issues. If it's straightforward, clean cut, it is much faster. So see how they answer that question. And the bonus one that I mentioned before, ask them about taxes. How do they handle getting the taxes paid? How long does it take to pay the taxes? What is the amount that I will need to owe to federal, if anything? Do they have answers for that? Do they understand how that process works? Most good attorneys and, and lawyers and the firms that I represent and that I use have that down to a science. So just see if they stumble on that or if they really have a plan in place. That's just a bonus for you because the last thing you want to do is go up against the IRS, especially once all the money is given out, all the debts are paid, all the beneficiaries are happy except you as executor and you're stuck with a tax bill or a lien, either state or federal. So just make sure they have a good plan in place to help you there. That's kind of my bonus for you. So this was a high level video just to give you some ideas. There's a lot more questions. If there's something I missed, make, make a comment. Let us know. If there's something you have a question about, we're happy to help you. So as always, thanks for tuning in. 
It's a great day and we'd love to help you with any questions you have. We are your probate real estate specialists. We're certified. We have lots of experience. So stay tuned. Be sure to check out our next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.